Hey everyone, welcome to my video for the um, April YouTube layout hop. I'm here showing the layout that I made. The theme for this month was pets and um, I actually have three cats and so what I did was I used a couple photos that I had taken of two of my cats while they were hanging out on the kitchen floor while I was in the kitchen one day and um, this layout was created using a sketch found on the Scrapbook Challenges website and I will um, put a photo of the sketch that I used um, right here. And what I did was um, I used the Hello Again paper collection from Cartabella. So that is what it looks like. And I also used the coordinating sticker element sheet. And that looks like this. And I also used the coordinating six by six paper pad. And that looks like that. So what I did was in starting out with the sketch, I used the this watercolor blue um, paper for the background. And then I used two of the six by six paper pad um, sheets that were the same color. And then what I did was I grabbed some of the recollections linen, I think, textured cardstock in this dark blue. And I use that as my accent color, I guess you could say, because when I put down just the um, just the watery color or watercolor looking papers, uh, it it was a, li a bit too washed out. So I added a bit of punch by adding the bolder um, dark blue colored paper for like shadow effects. Then for my edges that I you would see in, that you saw in the sketch I use this um, trim and this is like from the dollar bin or the two dollar bin or something I'm not even sure um, and what I did also was the background paper that I used um, for matting the photos is actually this paper here the one that I used to make these tabs and then what I did was after I had done cutting out the paper for the photo mats I then used my um, two of my Stampin' Up! punches and one of my We Are Memory Keeper punches to uh, punch out a bunch of different little um, embellishments for layering in these in this way. So I essentially kept the, I guess, the focus of the page going from top left to bottom right. And I pretty much just went and embellished from there. I used uh, this doily here that I got um, in a rack I think I'm not sure my doilies are just kind of everywhere and um, then I use this really big flower sticker for the like for the background element on the doily then I use this sticker here and I layered the sticker on both a piece of this yellow watercolor paper and a piece of the dark blue um, yeah you, yeah you can see so through those little through the little punch out holes so that's the watercolor paper and then behind that is this dark blue linen color paper um or sorry linen textured paper then i threw on some twine um from the who is that uh, i think that's lawn fawn twine actually let me go check yep that's definitely some of the lawn fawn twine it's the craft color twine then um, down in this corner I use one of my half inch, or my only half inch circle punch and I cut out, or I punched out a couple circles to bring some more dark colors into the layout. Um, this is a Recollections um, embellishment, these little adhesive, um, I guess cabochon type flowers. Then this is also from Recollection, Recollections, this little piece of bling here. Then that's the same trim that I used for the corners. Then this is an arrow sticker and another piece of bling from Recollections. So that is pretty much my layout. And at the top, sorry, the top left hand corner is the same pretty much. I didn't really change it up. All I did was just change what punch outs I used. And so now you guys have an idea as to how this layout was created. 
if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you guys... Oh, actually, here, let me read the journaling for you. So, as I said, I have three cats. One of them is not in these in these photos. And I did include that little uh, memo here, not pictured, Silly the Tabby Cat. And she's also quite a big deal because the title of the page is We're Kind of a Big Deal. And the journaling says, as much as you try to let them know that they may get squished, somehow Sweet Pea and Lacey, the two cats pictured here, uh, always seem to find their way into your space. It doesn't matter whether you're feeding them or not. When someone is in the kitchen, one of one or both of them must be present. Silly does not have this tendency, however, and seems to only care about the kitchen at all if you're about to feed her. She gets it. And that is the journaling for this page. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the April YouTube layout hop. Don't forget to visit our sponsor. Um, they are the ones sponsoring the giveaway for this hop. And um, in order to win, don't forget that you do have to subscribe and leave comments on each video for each of the participants in the YouTube layout hop. So I do hope that you continue on through the hop and enjoy the rest of your time doing so. All right, take care guys. Happy scrapping. Bye for now.